Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. My name is Walter. This is Oso. We're going to go grab him a treat. We'll be back. All right. Happy dog. We're happy to be home. We've been on the road for a while. That is my road dog. He's the dude by all means. So very, uh, very thankful for everyone who's donated to the channel in support of him as well. That's he deserves it, you know, and, and, and you guys are going to want to donate to the channel to be entered into the giveaway for this weekend. There's some stuff in there. There's some stuff in there, but uh, we'll get back to that. And, and I do thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't hit the like button, don't hit it yet. Make sure you like what you're hearing. But if you do hit the like button, if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe. I, I'd like to be a part of your channel lineup. And be sure to hit the notifications bell. You want to be notified if you win the giveaway. Because I will just move on. Otherwise, no, I wouldn't do that. But but notifications are, uh, are going to be good for us. And you. And especially if you win. So, looking forward to see who wins this weekend. Because it's going to be a good one. Man, we went on the road. Basically went... To the Canadian border essentially and I, I live in Montana if you didn't know and we don't have much retail but I managed to hit a, a number of Walmarts in the route I took and we all have routes as collectors but this one was uh it was a little it's, it's a route I've never I don't take daily or anything so uh, but I was happy to take it went north and uh did some hunting like I said got to hit a lot of store a lot of Walmarts and before I get into all the good, we'll talk about the bad. Let's talk about Walmart. Walmart's closing a ton of stores. And for us collectors, that is the most accessible place for us to, to get Hot Wheels. And so this is going to affect us pretty greatly. But I'd like to remind everyone, if you're not already aware, that's... That Walmart isn't purposely there to feed us collectors. You know, it's there to feed communities that didn't have the access. Here, here's what's going on. Four stores in Chicago are closing down. Four of the eight stores in Chicago. So that's, you know, half. Those four stores are closing because there is high theft. There is low amounts of foot traffic, especially on big items. I mean, I think I read they somebody stole like six TVs in a day. It's the poverty community, and if you don't have the means to buy something, you're going to find another way to get it. And unfortunately, it is theft. But Walmart thought to open all these stores so that these communities can have access to groceries and daily items at fair prices. And um, you, I'm sure there's somebody in the office who's like, I told you it wasn't going to work, you know, because it is, it is a tough balance to to exist in a community that has hardship and not expect the hardship to fall onto you as well. But Walmart, they got insurance, all that stuff to cover their asses. So that's not the thing. But for you as a collector, you're thinking like, man, these Hot Wheels are good. Where am I going to get them? Get them everywhere, man. You can get them, buy them online if you want. Shit, buy cases. You and a homie's pitching together and buy a case and roll dice to see who gets the super if there is one, you know? There's plenty of ways to access it. And, so let's not be angry at Walmart. If you're lucky enough to still have a Walmart in your area, be cool. Like, don't leave a mess. Just those little things. I mean, you're grown. Someone came to your house or your job and like squished up all your stuff. Be like, what the? You, I would, I would assume you'd be that way. So let's do that for everyone else. And everyone's job is hard. That's why it's a job. It's labor. But we could do a little more to help. So, anyway, so sorry to, you know, shop, all you uh, shy town heads, shy rack. Chicago's tough. It's tough. Um, sorry, I mean, you guys are losing that accessibility, but also a, a small town country mouse like myself, you city mouses have a lot more accessibility than, than we have. So, it's like that. Do you feel bad for, like, wealthy people? But yeah, because... <laughs> Yeah, I do, because I think I'm a human. Human. But, um, there's a number of other Walmarts closing down, but I, I zeroed in on Chicago one. 
for this. So. Let's get bright with it, though. Yeah. Myself, Road Dog, we, we, we headed up north. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I mean, it was a little chillier out. It's snowing right now. But I live north of everything, so that's the way it goes. But went up. Uh, first major stop for us is Missoula. So we stopped there and stopped at a Walmart. Found a few things. Let you guys see what's in there. Yeah. Looks like a new bin of... Oh, there's the Audi. E-case. One. Pretty sure. If I were looking for a super, I don't believe there'd be one in here. I don't believe. I don't know if I have the energy or wherewithal to dig through that thing. Submarine. The El Segundo Coupe key clip made into an actual car. Disney set. Let's see. The Fandango. So I'm guessing the mystery machine is what will be missing. Casablanca. Some 77 Dodge van. And there's, and there's the roadster. Cool. Sure. I don't need to mess with the cops. I'm going to let them do what they do. Ford Taurus, though? That was a decent stop, I guess. I mean, I knew what was in there. It's all the stuff I'd kind of seen already. and I will absolutely grab chases when I see them. And I, we're all always looking for them. But I'm in there. I'm trying to... I'm a collector. I, I collect them, and I, I know I'm an addict. So with that, I want all the dope. So I keep buying it, but I didn't buy much dope there. I bought an Audi Quattro for the homie Panda, because he lives in Denver, another big market where you can't, you just, just don't find cars. I remember what that was like over there. I also bought the Yellowstone Ford F-250. This is just a cool ass truck. 
I do love this show. Uh, like I say, my baby mama was in it, so therefore it technically fed my daughter, so I I am thankful. You know, I don't know if they're gonna still be filming here in town. But I don't know. I, that's not my concern. But that F-250 with the patina, everything, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful casting. So I was the Walmart stop. And it's pretty typical because the, the routes, you take your route. So that was my route. But I veered off my route this time because I typically would go to the second Walmart. But I was like, oh, I want some Starbucks, some large bucks. And I stopped over at the grocer. This lady there, she makes, she just makes the best vanilla oat milk latte. She just makes it the best. That's all I can say. So I, I'm, I'm heading there. Didn't even get my latte, but saw this big bin of Hot Wheels, and I'll show you what it looked like. All right, little Albertsons. Oh, oh never look at these. Probably could have destroyed them. There might be a cool one. That's in. Well, I have that Volkswagen bus. Well, here's the classy stuff. Got some of these. Jurassic World premiums. Ooh. Rest in peace. I got you, fella. All the rabbit too. Looking like older, <laughs> Not right, guys. So some older cars. The treasure hunting. Cool. I'll just get them all because I can send them to all you guys. I know it's not, but I was check. This is a nice little find, though. I wonder if I need to go through these. I don't like dump pens. They are dumb. Another one. Another one. Yeah, I think I will go through this. I'll let you guys know what I find. That was a massive bend. <laughs> but it was the cars on the top that had me intrigued because there was stuff from middle of last year to new castings I hadn't seen. So, I mean, it was all over the place, but it was a big bend. Really big bend. I dug through it. Here's what I came home with. The yellow Acura NSX. And they're still badging them reuse rides. Cool casting. I'm just, I'm buying the cars from J Imports that I love. I'm not trying to complete that set. Just not. Also ran across some Liberty Walks. A couple of these uh, Super Silhouette, the Sylvia's. A case. This came from an international shipper. So the Silhouette Works GT. The 
Hot Wheels Liberty and Liberty Walk badging on it as well. Really cool casting, but this is again from an international whatever, because it was in that dump bin. I think they just take the shippers and or uh, dump bins and dump them into that massive cauldron. The cauldron, that's what it is. Also, with all my efforts, I found, well, I found three. Found more than that. I left a bunch behind, but uh, uh, reuse Ragent Express. Really cool treasure hunt. I'm gonna grab them every time I see them because I want them to include them in these giveaway boxes for you guys. So I'm, I'm gonna keep grabbing them. And I, I was just digging through that mess. That mess, man. You just want hand sanitizer so bad. And just waiting to get through it, try to survive. And I'm glad I stayed in the hustle because I ended up finding. The classic Batmobile Super. That was it. The card's got a little ding on it, but I don't know. I, I've got a couple. I've got a few, so I will be throwing this in someone's giveaway box. Uh, if you're in the Supers, hopefully. Gosh, that was Albertsons. That was, a, like I said, it went a little off track. and I got my latte. And headed over to and it worked out right because yeah I headed over to the second Walmart and didn't buy anything but right around then Target had opened it's a mix all right not much to show in there except for what I brought home Yes, that's what I do. I'm gonna walk and talk. Walking and talking and look at some cars. Oh, I finally showed up at the right time. Show you what I mean. Boom. Speed machine set. Pardon me. Don't show you what I brought home. First, I'm excited to have found this because I've been missing this third one so the 72 Plymouth Cuda as well as the Duster Funny Car so the Plymouth 2 piece not that I've been missing that yeah yeah definitely collect those sets and I also discovered Speed Machines McLaren 720S it did really cool in this card. It is just like the old card. Uh, a little, they, they increased the size of the Hot Wheels look branding on it, but just like the old Speed Machines card. My fave, the Venemo. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I, oh, Zondas are, these are just beautiful. So I don't, I don't want to call it a fave, but it's, it's in my top five of this five car set. <laughs> As is the Ford GT because it's Ford. And they make some great cars. Missing the Porsche 911. I believe who else, who whomever uh, was there before me also found the Chase. I can't imagine. Maybe they just bought just the two Porsches, but no matter what, hopefully one was the Chase and one was your regs but that's unfortunate because I'm not sure if that person's a collector because they left a set behind you know so that's just got a weird mix in our community but we need each other all of us we need all parts to to make this thing grow work and and stay relevant you know I mean no more important than that than remain viable. But people are chase hunting like, like gonna put that shit away like it's gold in the future, you know? I mean, you buy all these chases and you're just sitting on them thinking they're just gonna appreciate and you're gonna buy this house. I mean, how many collectors do you know that have that lump sum and or are you gonna piece all that stuff out? I'm just being real. Uh, 
I mean, really, what is your plan? You know, cool to have all the chases and have all the rare ones, but I'm afraid a lot of folks are relying on it as an investment, but maybe it's just a that once investment. You get it now, you sell it now. You don't sit on it. You know, you don't wait for it to cure or appreciate. I don't, I don't know how some collectors are getting along, but I like the cars I like and the ones I can open and buy. So I bought an extra Zonda, bought an extra Lambo so I can open them on any day of the week, not just Fridays. But that's what I'd be doing. Target, good stop. Gotta keep rolling north. This drive from, from Missoula to, I stop in between Missoula and the uh, uh, next town, Polson. I stop in between. up headlines on left hand drive Someone just left that at the very bottom for me, or this hasn't been searched through. But the way that was just in a three pack gives me a little hope that there may be some treasure in here. Let's see. All right, I'll let you guys know what I found. Oh, that's so cute. So it's Look at 
That's a, uh, I enjoy that store as well. They got a few places to hunt in that town, but I enjoy that Walmart. Um, I enjoy the skate park there. It's fun. It's so fun. And then I'll, I, after my hunts, I always stop and eat at Betty's. You know, Betty's is good. It's a diner. It's my vibe. So here's what I got there. I'm in the, I'm connected now. I'm in the mob, so had to check in with uh, the mafia, see if they need anything. So I grabbed a couple of these for the big homie Matt. He needed those. I managed to see an, another dump bin, like I say, the Walmart dump bin, the triple dipples. So went through those. Like it shows you at the very bottom. Found a Q case, Mustang funny car, treasure hunt. So, great find. Um, I didn't find too many of these when they were live and in, in action in the, the right time of year, but managed to bump into two. There was one just hanging on the peg, so I don't know if that was just an overlook for people or if a collector left it for me. Yeah, for me, because I'm the one who got it, so, but left it for someone. So I don't know. So this was a weird thing, like I say, you know, so I was, Walmart, that one had like HK stuff, you know, but it also had all this old QK stuff, so, scored on a Falcon livery RX-7, as well as a now, the uh, 2020 Toyota GR Supra. They didn't have any thens, just the nows. I don't know if someone cleaned up all the thens. And then I, you know, Hot Wheels doesn't make all black cars. And thank heaven they also chose to make an all black in this Avant. That's a, I mean, I know it has a really huge tail, tail light situation, but good job on you Hot Wheels for finishing that. It's almost one of those pieces if you, you have to do that part on there. So you have to treat it. Otherwise it just would not look like the car it is. So I grabbed all those and uh, bumped into the JDM set was all stoked. I was like, yeah, I found it. Do the center. Everybody wants it. Love, love the Celica or Celica, wherever you're from. And then, of course, the Honda we all know about, we've seen. But sent a picture out, posted it, sent it to the Godfather, the whole PHP Mafia, people helping people. And then, uh, he was like, that's sweet. Did you get yourself one? Yeah, I did. I got myself one Godfather. Got you one. Also got one to give away. There was four. I grabbed three. No shame in my game. Shouldn't be in yours either. That's the way this hobby works. You'll have a good day. You'll find some desirable items. Maybe that week before you didn't, and maybe the week after you won't. But whoever does will have those items that you were looking for, but you've got last week's item, so on and so forth. And you trade and sell and keep this thing alive because it, it has to happen. So you can hate on it all you want, anyone, not you in particular, but it's, an, it's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows, but it's, it's a necessary evil um, in some cases and or just a part of collecting, you know? Uh, not necessarily evil because it hurts people's feelings, but seen a lot of people getting worked up, you know, and like you, like you saw that guy in the video in Target, you know, he, that dude was really attached to Hot Wheels, but I believe he's a reseller, not a collector, but maybe though, I could be wrong, I, it's wrong of me to ask soon, because that's just making an ass of me, but if you donate to the channel and you're you're uh you're you're entered for this weekend's giveaway i hope you like jdm be sure if you do donate to the channel include the word donation in 
whatever method of payment you're sharing with. That way I can search the keyword donation or donate. And um, that's how I populate the list. Apologize to anyone I've missed. I don't even know how I missed, uh, who was it, Mr. Incredible or someone this time. So I got gotcha. you. I won't be missing anyone this week, especially if you do tag donation. Uh, that would be rad, but really key box. Found a lot more cards, like I say. Found a, uh, a short card Honda Civic. One, I'm, this is this is gonna be very JDM oriented. Godzilla, and there's some stuff in there. I got some other stuff in there. A whole bunch of Liberty Walk stuff. And if you're a JDM person, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna a shot at this box so yeah there you go what else do I have to share and show flex empty empty I think that's it I think I let you guys off the hook pretty easy this time around Got some other cars. But I think those are gonna be best displayed open. Check out the video, enjoy. After that, holla at your boy. Peace.